the research work um, has um, is basically approaching um, a standard problem in uh, lambing time um, where we dock lambs tails using a rubber ring. Now quite clearly this um, causes an element of distress for 20 to 30 minutes um, with, with the lambs. There isn't a sensible um, medical, standard medical treatment for it um, and if there was it would be expensive and time consuming. Um, so my approach was to say okay well let's try um, standard homeopathy um, which we are told will will work um, so that I did and after um, uh, one pilot study and now a, a full randomized controlled trial uh, double blind well actually triple blind technically um, it's produced about a 30% reduction in the amount of pain and distress experienced by these little lambs that has you might say, well, that's a very brief uh, effect. It's not very, uh, it's not really uh, going to have any long-term impact, but it probably will do because um, if you, when um, disease sets in, um, particularly in, in young lambs, when they are distressed for any reason at all, and if you can do things which cut down um, standard interventions which need to be done, such as the tail docking, such as uh, such as castration, then, and you can cut that distress down to a level which is which is much more manageable. You reduce the risk of other disease coming coming in and getting a hold. Homeopathy doesn't provide. It's not a um, uh, not a panacea. Um, it's it's, it's there to be used and sometimes you have to use antibiotics um, or, or depending on, on the, your, the development of your homeopathic ability, uh, especially in the early days, you have, to use, you have to use both. But as you progress in your homeopathic expertise and experience, um, you find that the, the use of uh, conventional medication does drop.